more Carson Wentz drama. He now has a fractured vertebrae. So obviously there there is the reason why he had the back spasms. Interesting. Uh, what, what, we will get to the fact of the, the rumor going around about the training staff not telling the coaching staff and Carson Wentz. We'll get to that. But what does this say about Carson Wentz? This says, no wonder why. No wonder why he was missing throws. No wonder why he was off. No wonder why his mechanics were all over the place. I mean, how do you play NFL football as a quarterback with that type of back injury? Here's what bothers me. Did Doug Peterson know about this and call option plays for him to run the football? Come on, Doug. That's unacceptable. If that is the case. See, this, this story is a little fishy right now. We don't know exactly what's going on yet. But let's get to the reports. Reports say the medical staff, the new medical staff, didn't tell Carson, didn't tell Doug Peterson. I'm not shutting it down, but that seems a little ridiculous. Only because of the fact of fraud. You're talking millions and millions and million dollar lawsuit over this issue. Do you think that this medical staff, that the doctor, is going to sit there and say, I'm not going to tell Carson Wentz. Eh. What do you get out of that? What do you get out of that? It seems just odd. But Jason Martinez claims he has sources that tell him there has been a little bit of secrecy going on when it comes to injuries with the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, you can take a look at this medical staff and say this. What the hell happened to Mac Collins? Marigos. Darren Sproles' injury was very funky. Nigel Bradham and his thumb. Jason Peters. Jay Ajayi. Jalen Mills. He's okay. Oh, wait. IR. There's a lot of issues that we've seen so far with this medical staff. They're definitely not perfect. And there are some odd things going on around this team when it comes to the injuries. That is clear as day. But do I think it's to the extreme as Carson Wentz had a, a, a fractured vertebrae, but no one decided to tell him or Doug Peterson? I don't know if it goes to that extreme. That is a legitimate, serious lawsuit waiting to happen, and I just don't know if any doctor in their right mind at this level would ever think that, yeah, let's test the water. I don't know. I, I really don't know. I'm not saying it's completely impossible, especially knowing Philadelphia medical staffs, but it just doesn't seem like... Anyone would really do that, right? Here's another argument that I'm starting to hear. He can't stay healthy. Carson Wentz just can't stay healthy. He can't finish out seasons. He's always getting injured. Dating back to North Dakota State and, and his, his injury there his last year. The cracked ribs in the preseason, although he finished out the season. Last year, the, the ACL and the leg injury. Now it's this. Yeah, I mean, it's the NFL. It's a tough sport. It's a tough sport. He, you're right. He, he's getting injured. T to say he's not the guy we shouldn't pay him, though, don't even get me started. Don't even get me started. As if people are saying, he stinks. Get him out of here. The dude was trying to throw the ball. I mean, you can see with his mechanics. This There's a, there's a reasoning now on why he was so off. Why he couldn't throw the ball. Why he couldn't land the ball in the receiver's hands and his mechanics were flawed. It makes sense. The dude literally has a crack in his back. He didn't just forget how to play basketball or football. I'm thinking, folks. <laughs> he didn't forget how to play. There's an issue here. So there is a positive. There's a reason behind why he was missing his receivers and not playing like he used to be. But yeah, it's it's a little concerning that he gets injured. But to not to say to not pay the guy, let's let him walk. Yeah, let's let him walk and then start all over. People are delusional on what the process is. They really are. People are delusional on what the process is when it comes to getting a franchise quarterback. It's crazy. It really is crazy. One thing that blows my mind, though, I, I know we got MRIs before. It didn't show exactly all this and what's going on now. I get it. But if Doug Peterson knew, if Doug Peterson knew that there was a back problem and decided to still run options with Carson Wentz, <laughs> come on, Doug. 
Come on. Use this. Use this. There's so much more to this story. I'm sure it's going to be coming out here in the in the week or so, but it's pretty wild, right? So we have Carson Wentz with the fractured vertebrae. You hear the story about the training staff, the medical staff, not telling Carson Wentz, not telling Doug Peterson. That's a little extreme to me. I mean, that would be suing and millions of dollars involved, and that's just on a whole nother level. I don't know if it ever got to that point. You, you get the injury prone of Carson Wentz coming out of this. But I see it as, at least now, it makes sense. I'd rather there be an issue on why he his mechanics were off than him just not having a problem at all and he just doesn't look the same. Now it makes sense. The footwork, it, just, it makes sense. But to say he's not the guy, uh, come on, it's football. People are going to get injured. He's still young. He definitely has the skill set. Don't give up on Carson Wentz because of this. That's all I have to say. Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you next time.